Good morning, everyone. You are watching Barnstable this morning. I'm Sarah Colvin, and joining me on the phone from the Barnstable Senior Center, I welcome Activities Coordinator Susan Griffin. Susan, good morning. Good morning, Sarah. Nice to be here. Nice to have you uh, on the show. So always um, when we talk with you, Susan, there's so much to cover because there is always something going on at the Senior Center, um, and I understand it's going to be a pretty, pretty busy week next week. So fill me in on what's going on at the Senior Center next week. Sure. Uh, next week we have on March 26th at one. 30. This should be a really fun event. Uh, we're going to have an oldie show, and that will be taking place at 1.30. It's free of charge. It's going to be 50s and 60s music. Uh, people have talked about this. He hasn't been with Bill Reddy, and he hasn't played here in the past, but we've heard great things about him. So he's going to kind of bring us to Ricky Nelson, the Drifters, the Everly Brothers, Buddy Holly, Beach Boys. So it'll... Um, It'll be a fun afternoon. We hope everybody can make it. We don't want anybody being bored. That's right. So we keep things going here. That's right. And, and who doesn't love Ricky Nelson, right? It, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> a garden party. I, do, I think I we're do. all looking forward to that. Ab absolutely. So um, <laughs> at March 26th at 1.30, um, tell me, Susan, uh, do you have to buy tickets? Is this a free event? Uh, how does it work for that? No, this this will be a free event, but we just want people to RSVP, and, of course, they can go online to do that, or they can call us here at the center at 508-862-4750. Great. Looks like a lot of fun. Well, it will be fun. And then we have a couple workshops. We have a this woman that comes in, and she does stamping, but they make the most beautiful cards. This will be her third or fourth time here. And for this workshop, which will be taking place at 12 noon on March 26th, she's going to concentrate on spring cards and the Easter holiday and the Passover holiday. And if someone even just, you know, wants to make a simple greeting card, and she does, they're, they're absolutely beautiful. It's incredible what you can do now. It, it really making is. Making your own cards it's and making them so personal. No, and I have some friends who are really into making their own cards and just the, the stencils that they have and the cutouts, and, and it's just, it is that personal touch. Um, and when you get a handmade card, it, it really means a lot more than just something that you buy. It, it's, it's oh, I couldn't agree more. They really are just so beautiful. So when is uh, that uh, that workshop taking place? Oh, that is going to be March 12th. Uh, sorry, March 26th, which is Wednesday as well. It's, um, it's going to be at 12 noon, and that will be about a two-hour class. So people should plan to be here for at least two hours. Absolutely. For that, and and Naomi will bring the materials, and there's a small fee of three dollars to pay for some of the materials you'll be using to make your cards. Great. So it's it's pretty simple. And then we have one of our favorite yearly talks. Chris Nappy will be here on March 27th, and he's going to be talking about our turtles. And I don't know if you have been over here lately, but they had a little sabbatical over at uh, Natural Resources for a couple of weeks, and they came back, and they look like they're twice the size really? from when they left. They, they were have still, really grown. <laughs> they were still just little guys um, when the last time I was over there, so that tells me how long it's been since I've been to the Senior Center, uh, Susan. But, of course, uh, for those who don't know, tell us a little bit about these turtles, because it's really cool that you guys have them over there. It really is. And you know what? When they're not here, people really miss them. So it, it, it just shows how important important it is to have um, some, you know, some animal or something from outdoors here and we can help take care of. And this is a program for diamondback terrapins, which are a threatened species uh, here in, uh, in Massachusetts. And we're working with Marine Environmental Affairs. Um, <clears throat> Amy's been terrific over there guiding us, but Chris is the turtle person, and he's going to come over and talk about their, uh, at them as a threatened species and why we're doing this. And it's really basically to keep them well-fed and keep them um, growing so that they are less attractive to prey. So once they're released, they have a really great start and hopefully will be living a long time because I believe they live up to about 45 years. That's kind of amazing. Isn't that amazing? So uh, we, we certainly need them around. They're marsh turtles, so they live in brackish water. And... Um, I believe they eat mosquitoes, so we definitely mm. want to keep them around. <laughs> yeah, definitely. And I'm always jealous. I see Chris uh, out on the beach at Sandy Neck, uh, you know, working. He's doing his job out there, driving around on Sandy Neck, taking care of, of the turtles and the animals and all of that. I always get jealous. Um, but he is so knowledgeable about uh, the natural resources in our town, so I know that's going to be a fantastic talk. Susan, when is he coming to the Senior Center? That will be Thursday, March 27th at 10 a.m. And obviously it's a free event. He's going to do it right here in the lobby. He's going to have the turtles out with him, and people will be able to hold them or touch them if they'd like. Um, and he'll 
tell us all about how it's going over at uh, Sandy Neck. Great. And so, um, Susan, the Senior Compass uh, is, is out now, I believe, uh, the, the next issue. Tell me a little bit about uh, the Senior Compass and what's in it and where people can find it. Yes, certainly. We're, it's incredible. We're already into the second quarter. But it was our Senior Compass was just mailed out last Friday, March, uh, March 14th. And it's, the cover is Keeping People Well-Fed, and we're highlighting the nutrition programs here at the Senior Center and <clears throat> we how important it is. We have Meals on Wheels and Elder Services volunteers on the on the cover and it's such a great program that we have here. So pe- please look for that out and about when you're around or in your mailbox or certainly come to the Senior Center or go on to the website to look to see what's happening. But now is the time to sign up because a lot of these uh, activities fill up quickly but it's also a time to get ready for that bathing suit season so if you want to sign up for a yoga class or any of our exercise programs or any of our let's see what what do we have we have our author talk and we have travel club presentations the camera club lots of uh, programs to inform you in regards to health issues and some fun things happening this season Uh, coming up this quarter we have our expo our senior health and wellness expo which is always a very very well-attended event, and it's a great opportunity for people to find out about different resources in the community that can help them as they age. So that's one of our events, and of course our Memorial Day uh, breakfast in honor of our veterans, which will be May 22nd, and then we'll have our open house in June, which will be June 20th this year. So all that amongst everything else that's happening, uh, there's a lot going on. Love so. hearing about May and June and knowing that that is on our radar finally. Let's hope um, so. <laughs> we love it. We love it. Well, Susan, um, I thank you so much, uh, as always, for joining us here on Barnstable this morning. A pleasure to have you uh, on the show. And, of course, Senior Compass, can look in your mailbox. Um, you can find it here at Town Hall at the Senior Center and also online, correct? Thank you, Sarah. Yes, Great. absolutely. All right. Yep. Thank you so much. Have, have a wonderful a good day. day. You too. You too. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Susan Griffin, of course, Activities Coordinator at the Barnstable Senior Center. Again, you can find uh, all that information uh, in the Senior Compass uh, online or at the Senior Center or here at Town Hall. want to do mention as well, um, there's going to be an informational session on Tuesday, March 25th, regarding the trip to Barnstable, England, which we're doing as part of our 375th. It's going to take place at 5 o'clock in the evening next Tuesday, March 25th. For Barnstable this morning, I'm Sarah Colvin.